All right, so when Pioneer DJ comes out with any new product, it's a big deal. When they come out with a new DJ controller, it's a really big deal. I'll tell you this, they have never come out with a new DJ controller with four channels and CDJ size platters for under $600. So we need to talk about it. We need to talk about the features. We need to talk about why are you getting all this on the surface for under $600? We need to talk about who it's best for. And I think there are some people out there that could use this and may not even realize it. So we're going to dive deep into it. Are you ready? I know I am. We're going to do it right now. What's going on everybody? Justin Schwartz here, content director with the DJ's Guru, coming at you as always from the lovely DJ's Guru studio. And today we're talking about the brand new Pioneer DJ DDJ FLX6. Before we dive into this, I have a quick question for you. Have you ever used Pioneer DJ before? If you have, let us know which controller down below. And if you haven't, let us know that too. We always want to hear from our people out there, our audience, and are happy to answer questions. If you're enjoying these videos, definitely hit that button down there and subscribe. And of course, any questions on the DDJ FLX6 or Pioneer questions in general, feel free to drop them down below. Now, let's talk about this new controller, which on the surface seems to have almost everything you could imagine, right? So, the DDJ FLX6 is a logical progression for DJs who may have learned on a DDJ200 or a DDJ SB3 or even a DDJ400, they're more entry level controllers and maybe you're not ready to take the next step or you're not able to for whatever the reason may be. So this is a great progression for you where now you're gonna have four channels, you're gonna have additional performance pads, additional features, and a true club style controller. The other thing that this is really good for, believe it or not, is let's say you're a touring DJ or a DJ that travels a lot, or even just a private events DJ. And obviously with this year, everyone is now live streaming in one way or the other, or you're even building services now with your private events company doing live stream weddings, doing live stream events, doing all these types of things where maybe it makes sense to have a dedicated controller that's less expensive, that on the surface does everything you need it to do, but on the back end doesn't have all the bells and whistles that you may not need if you're just going to plug it into an interface or something like that. So I think there's a lot of things and DJs that this could be used for. We also want to make sure we're understanding the complexities of what is the difference between, say, the DDJ FLX6 and the DDJ1000. And, you know, you have some obviously entry level features. We're going to get into that. And I would say that this is definitely designed for a, a non professional environment. I'm not saying you can't take this and do a gig with it. I just don't recommend this particular controller for that application because of what we're going to talk about right now. Ah, so there it is, everybody. The DDJ FLX with a front view. And I thought it would be good to do a key feature rundown for you and kind of let you know where everything is here. So first thing I want to talk about is merge effects. Okay, merge effects. That's going to allow you to switch from one track to another with a single action. So right there, you see one, two, three, four. That's basically your deck control and you are able to turn that and directly go to another deck. And just a single action will take you to another song. If you have a cue point set up, it'll go right to that next spot. The next thing I wanna talk about is Jog Cutter right here. 
And jaw cutter, I think, is going to be a little volatile as far as a feature, but I think it's very, very cool for anyone who is learning how to scratch. Now, jaw cutter allows you to trigger a professional scratch effect from the last hot cue or playback position you used with just a flick of a wrist. So basically, it's going to essentially create a spot where you can scratch with based on a trigger point or something that you've used in the past. And you hit that button there, that red button flashing, to automatically assign that to the platter. And then again, trigger the last cue point that you set and essentially make it a lot easier for you to scratch. Now, I get it. The purist is gonna hate this. And although we here at the DJ's Guru definitely recommend learning how to scratch with vinyl and records, you know, the old fashioned way, we certainly don't hate on new technology and something very innovative and cool. And from that perspective, the jog cutter is very, very cool. And I think something that a lot of people will have fun with. You got full size jog wheels here that are very nice to the touch. Yes, they're definitely not the same exact components as a CDJ 3000, but they, um, they feel just like them. They're tight. Uh, they definitely don't feel like a toy by any means. Certainly from the surface here, everything feels professional. Everything feels rugged and sturdy, just what you would expect from a, a Pioneer product. The next thing are, of course, the Reban EQs with trim control. You got filter control there. And of course, you have eight performance pads, hot cue, pad effects, beat jump, and sampler. Serato users, you can access Scratch Bank. Very, very cool. And this only weighs about eight pounds. So very, very lightweight. Very, very nice looking from the top. What is included? You get a manual, you get a license key for Serato FX included. You get an expansion pack voucher for pitch and time. Very, very cool feature from Serato DJ. You get a free 30 day subscription to Beatport Link. And of course you got this beautiful controller. On the front, you have a quarter inch and a 3.5 millimeter headphone input with a volume. You could control the cue of the master, and then you also have your microphone volume there as well. So that's all on the front of the FLX6. Also, if you're coming from the DDJ SP3 or the DDJ400 and you're curious about the difference in size, well, there you go. That's literally the difference in size. I know it looks like it's on the box, but it's not. That is the controller there. Next to the box, that's the SB3. And you can essentially take your SB3 out of your home system and pop that DDJ FLX6 right in there. And you're ready to go on the existing system that you have with the same RCA outputs and everything else. All right, everybody. So what did you think? The DDJ FLX6 definitely has some really cool features. I think that there are a lot of different DJs that can benefit from this. Hey, if you're watching this and you're trying to figure out maybe, maybe this is your first controller and you're a little bit older, or you're a parent and you're buying for your child and they're a little bit older, I would say go with something like this because it's going to allow them to grow with it and not get bored of it too fast. So this is also a great first controller, a great starter controller. Maybe you bypass the entry level from Pioneer and you go straight to this. So. Anyway, you slice it, Pioneer DJ has done a tremendous job getting all of this and squeezing it into a package under 600 bucks. So could it be the best starter DJ controller of all time? It certainly could be. It could be the best intermediate controller of all time. It could be the best streaming controller of all time. Ultimately, you've got pro level features on the top but you've got the entry level body and chassis and guts basically and back end here to keep the cost down. And again, this is designed for more home use, bedroom DJing, streaming, things like that. Not saying you can't use it on live events in a professional environment. I personally just wouldn't recommend that. So to each their own, but that's what I say.
Make sure you're following us at the DJ's Guru on all social media and make sure you check us out at the DJsGuru.com. Subscribe to our videos here. Any questions, drop them down below as always. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. And as I always like to say, we will see you on the flip side.